Hi, I'm Scott with Pioneer Vintage Trailer, and I wanted to do a video of one of our vending trailers to help our customers understand uh, what exactly uh, that we what we do to the trailers, the process. Um, and so I will start. As you can see, we we strip and polish, uh, you know, to a mirror shine, the exterior of the trailer. We also go through and remove all the trim. So we remove these. We remove the bottom trim, we, re we remove all the emblems, and we completely, we clean them up, refurbish them, repaint them, and we reinstall. Um, as you can see, we put new wheels and tires on all our vending trailers, and we also install brand new axles. Uh, they are Dexter Torflex axles, which are the same you know, like the original axles that were on it, and we also put new shock absorbers on. Um, we go through, we make sure all of our windows are glass, everything is operational back to factory standards. Uh, we reinstall new clips, uh, latches if we have to. Uh, we, we install all new seals, gaskets around the windows. Uh, we install new LED running lights. Another thing we do is we, we clean the banana wrap, we clean, prep, and repaint the banana wrap. And these front corner banana wraps, if these are all dented up, we take these off, uh, we roll out the dents, and we put them back on. Um, here you see that we clean the tongue and the bumper. Any exposed metal on the exterior of the trailer gets cleaned, prepped, primed, and painted. All our trailers have an operational uh, tongue jack, and we put on uh, the breakaway switches. They get new safety chains and hooks. And again, up here, the emblems, the Airstream emblems, them all come off, and they get refurbished as well. All the window jams on the inside, those get cleaned and scuffed up, so they're not all dirty and nasty. Uh, this particular trailer is a 1967 Overlander, which is 26 feet in overall length. Uh, the shell of the trailer is 23 feet. So here's the step. The step got cleaned and uh, you know cleaned up and repainted. We put on the uh, non-stick pads as well. All of our door locks, all the compartment door locks. Uh, they're all in working order and do have keys. So if there's trailers we get that don't have keys or bad locks, we go through and replace those and make those functional again. Um, any of these porch lights, those all get new lenses and bulbs and are, uh, are functional. As you can see this emblem here. You know, we, we clean that up and put some paint in there. All our doors get new seals. The belly pan underneath, if there's any holes or any belly pan metal that is sagging down, that always gets reattached, patched, so there's no, uh, no way for water to infiltrate, infiltrate underneath. And all our trailers, a lot of the patches we do, we make them stars and put them on. It's a nice, you know, adds a nice touch to the trailer. Uh, same with the tail lights. You know, they get new lenses. If the cups are bad, we always replace the cups. Vintage Trailer Supply has uh, reproduced a very nice aluminum uh, tail light housing. So we install those as well. You can see here again the emblems. The plates on the back, those all get cleaned up, refurbished. They all get new license plate light brackets. This particular model has the beehive lights. So and these these ones are glass on here that we put on. All of our vending trailers uh, have minor cosmetic uh, damage. Um, anything, any big scrapes or dents, we always uh, repair it or put new panels on. As you can see in this trunk lid, a 
lot of times we end up making new new pans here. So that always all gets cleaned up and redone. type of hatches that we put in. We build ones that fit the curvature of the trailer. So there's a nice, clean, sleek look. It fits very nice. From a distance, you can hardly tell there's a hatch in there. And it gets an aluminum uh, drip cap on the top. And we've also started reinstalling the windows back in the hatch to try to maintain the original look of the trailer. So I'm now going to go inside and open the hatch up for you. install gas powered shock so once you unlock the door a little push and up it goes it makes it pretty easy to open and close and we also install puck lighting in all our hatches which are operated by a switch that we install inside the trailer our hatches are installed structurally we we unrivet the interior skin, we pull that back, and we actually attach our top and bottom headers to the existing ribs in the trailer. So it is structurally sound. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, it coming loose, coming apart, you know, nothing like that. windows are still functional. Also, our trailers, they always have operational stabilizer jacks. If those are bad, we always take them off, clean them up, make sure they're operating, we grease them up. And if they're bad or missing, we replace those. Uh, the same goes for the roof fence up there. So on this particular model, the, uh, the Astro Dome on the top was bad, so we installed a new one. So with our vending trailers, we completely refurbished these. This shell is ready for the road. It's ready to be outfitted. We uh, guarantee the frames, and we guarantee the subfloors. If we get into a trailer that has, you know, bad spots in the frame, we always go in and fix it, you know, and we fix it right. And same for the subfloor. We always put the subfloor um, in airstreams. The shell of the trailer sits on top of the wood subfloor, so you always got to make sure that that gets put back underneath the wall when you do a repair. All the screens, the screen door, those all get new aluminum screen material. All the screen doors get fixed, repaired, cleaned, so everything functions as it should. All our door frame jams, those always get cleaned. So when we, when we build out our vending trailers, we always leave the original wiring intact. It doesn't mean that you have to use it, but if a customer so desires that you know, they want to still use the outlets in the trailer or the DC lighting, you know, that, that leaves the option open that it can be reused. This particular model. Uh, some of these older trailers, the wheel wall covers, are, they're plastic, they get brittle, they get broke over the years. So we made new wheel wall covers out of aluminum for this trailer. 
And once we make all the subfloor repairs, we put down a, a 3 8 plywood on top, which gives you an almost uh, a one inch thick floor, depending on how thick the subfloor was to begin with. Um, sometimes they're anywhere from half to 7 16 to 5 8 3 quarter thick. You never know with what your trailer model you're working with. So this surface gives you a nice, clean, smooth substrate for your finished flooring to be installed. We also we remove all the interior pieces and we patch all the holes. We wash them down and then we use oil-based primer and white oil-based paint and, and paint our trailers. Makes a nice durable, washable surface with the oil-based paint. So as you can see, all the screens, screen material has been replaced with new aluminum. All the compartment doors, they get cleaned up, scuffed up. So we left this air conditioner hole open for the moment. A lot of times once we finish with a shell, you know, you never know what the customer's going to want. So if they want an air conditioner put in, you know, it's very easy to reinstall. If they don't, that can be patched over. So this particular model has the molded end cap. So we leave these in because it just if you tear this out, there is nothing behind it but insulation. There's no structure. You know, there's there's nothing left in there. So I thought it'd be nice to do a video to show to show everyone and go through the trailers and explain all the work that we do and to what extent that we take the trailers. And we do offer, you know, outfitting. We can uh, build countertops, install equipment, electrical, you know, water systems, plumbing systems. Um, whatever you need, we can do it. Thank you.